Greetings, Divine Radiance. How are you today? So before I head into the store, I'm taking a moment to talk to you. This message is for anyone that has a heavy heart, anyone that's experiencing brokenheartedness or disappointment, sadness, as it relates to love, right? So one of the things that Spirit is guiding me to talk to you about is the fact that you are being called to remember your worth, remember your value, and remember what you deserve, right? Now, you can see perfection in the eyes of someone else, but if they don't see that per perfection in themselves, well, they're not going to see it in you, no matter how perfect you may or may not be for them, or you could or could not be for them, right? They're just not going to see it because what a person sees in themselves is what they see in the rest of the world, right? So what I'm being called to tell you is to also understand those times where you said to spirit, these are all the things I'm choosing in a mate, right? Remember, we talked about build a man, build a woman, like build a bear when we were setting our intentions of what we were choosing to create, manifest, and allow in. And so if there are things about that individual that does not meet those standards, it doesn't matter how good you feel when you're with them. It doesn't matter how much of a vibrational match the energy feels like, right? If they have not reached that level of potential, spirit is not going to allow it to happen, right? So I'm really on today to tell you, chin up, grasshopper, pick your head up, shoulders back, hold your head up high, and understand that everything you are choosing is choosing you. Everything that you are seeking is already yours. Even if it doesn't come in the form of what you thought it come in or who you thought it come in. And here's the thing. I'm not saying that that one that you think is the one, you may have even gotten a message from spirit that they are the one. I'm not saying that they're not the one, but they're not the one right now. So it's a matter of you deciding, am I willing to wait or am I choosing to move on? And if you're choosing to wait, can you do so in peace? Or is it disrupting your peace, your happiness, your sanity, right? Spirit is saying now it's about you making decisions and choices, but as you're doing that, make sure you're putting you first. Make sure you're putting you first. And this may be triggering some unhealed parts in you. This may be an opportunity for you to figure out some things that you're being called to heal, right? So that you can let go and release, right? So spirit is just telling you that you are stronger than anything that you are facing, anything that you will face and anything that you have faced. You're stronger always, always. So remember that and just know that spirit's got your back. And just like everything else in life, the only thing that's blocking you is you. The only thing that's blocking you from your peace is you. The only thing that's blocking you from your bliss is you. The only thing that's blocking you from your security is you. The only thing that's blocking you from receiving that love that you so desire and deserve is you. So the question is, what are you going to do about it? That is the message today. I thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you both. And I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. And listen, if you're interested in working together, now is the time. There's a link in my bio. Schedule your consultation. And let's connect and see how I can serve you. All right? You deserve it. I'll talk to you soon.